Definitely the people. Uh, you don't realize how many great individuals you encounter over time uh, until that time has passed and then you reflect back or you meet later and you, you realize like the good things you took from them or the memories you created. Um, all of those, those uh, things, you know, I just, I, I believe people really underestimate the power of the people that you have in your life your life and how many how, how much they influence you and impact you as time goes on so about the pride in in the growth in women's hockey but you know for now i would say at this time in my life it's about how much sport has started to embrace women in in leadership women in sport and the respect that's been earned and continues to be earned. Um, so it's just phenomenal. I mean, the opportunities that that uh, uh, women have as, as leaders is incredible. And a little times, you know, a little bit envious if I could go back 20 years ago or 25 years ago, um, you know, how, how excited I would have been to have got some of those opportunities, but also knowing that there's still a lot that, that I can contribute. So. I mean, to sum it up, I would say, you know, pride, uh, respect for, for what people continue to do, and at times a little bit envious. I didn't like school very much. So I was like, what am I going to do with my life? And my parents were adamant I was going to go to university. Um, so I was like, okay, well, I got to find something in sport because that's really the only thing I like. Right. Grew up in a small town, uh, played all the sports, and at times um, I didn't have uh, coaches or people around me who knew what was out there. And when we did have school teachers or community members that moved into our town that knew what was out there and, you know, coached you or provided opportunities for you that really made you excited. I was like, you know what? I want to be able to provide that for people down the road. Yeah. So it really was a lot, a lot of little pieces. And uh, I had to go to school for something according to my parents. And so, um, I mean, that's what I went. I I'd started coaching when I was grade, in grade eight uh, with my brother's uh, hockey team. Uh, women weren't really, and it was really kind of funny you know, you weren't allowed to play or people didn't provide an opportunity for you to play, but they were okay if you coached right. um, and things like that. So, and then, you know, uh, a few years later, I started coaching my sister's softball team and I'd played those sports. Hockey was really the only one I hadn't played before I coached. So, um, you know, it was just something I did in our small town and, and it was got to go to school. So what the heck am I going to take? <laughs> athletes I've coached at so many male and female variety of sports grassroots to high performance but I I feel like the athletes that I I respected them all but the ones that I really sat back and and was pleased with or enjoyed working with were were the ones that were real they were real in terms of understanding the work you put in the work they had to put in they competed hard um, they had an attitude for gratitude. They loved the sport. They were passionate about whatever it was they were doing. They challenged you, um, whether at times it was respectfully or not respectfully, but they challenged you. They recognized when they crossed the line and were able to come back to you and apologize or have that conversation. And they understood that the coaches were there because they cared, they cared about what you were doing. And, while they may not have liked the message in the moment, or they may not have liked the outcome in the morning or in the moment, they they were real and they understood when the dust settled, maybe they weren't good enough, or maybe they did have to change that behavior or work on that skill to be where they wanted to be. So those, those were the ones that you really knew, regardless of where they ended up in sport, they were gonna be successful in life as well. So 
well, it's it's so necessary. It doesn't matter whether it's somebody's family farm or family business. There's a legacy that came before you, and there's a reason you get the opportunities you get. And there's an understand. You need to understand what traditions or what you're carrying on, and how hard somebody or something or a group of people worked for you to be able to have that opportunity. You know, I think. A lot of parents are like that in terms of how hard they work so their their children can get opportunities. So, I mean, the Alberta Sports Hall of Fame and a lot of our, whether it's sport or provincial Hall of Fames, don't get the recognition, the funding, the the things they need, and it's so valuable to be able to to sit back and or to go and read about it for the longevity of sport in Canada and in the province. So. Um, you know, my I tip my hat to the the Hall of Fame committees and the people that really drive the Sports Hall of Fame because it is necessary and it's needed to ensure that the legacy is always documented. I was just like anybody young. You don't understand how fortunate you are. And as I got older, you know, and I mean older in my 20s, um, and recognized the opportunities I'd been afforded in Alberta, the way we supported sport in Alberta at the time, I would suggest that we are in a little bit of a downspin on that, but um, that my, my colleagues in other provinces didn't necessarily have that same vision, if you would, the same opportunities. Um, so I'm, I'm really doubtful that I would have had the opportunities I had if I hadn't grown up in Alberta. Uh, so the being inducted in the Sports Hall of Fame was first surprising, second, you know, really humbling. Um, but also, you know, I know how good the sport people are in Alberta. So to be classified with them was, was uh, an honor. And again, just like the gold medals, it was a tribute to everybody that was along the ride with me, whether it was cheering or providing opportunities for me or helping with funding or whatever it was. Like it's it's their moments too to kind of live vicariously through you and they deserve it.